everyone, it's Felicia from Compass Land. Today I wanted to talk to you about buying land in Florida, specifically the concerns about flood zones. We buy a lot of land in Florida and you shouldn't let flood zones scare you off from investing and buying land there. It's really just like buying land anywhere else. You need to do your research on the property before you buy it. And as you know, every state has natural concerns that you need to be wary of. You know, if you're up in the Northeast and you buy a secluded lot, well, you may not be able to access it during the winter months. And if you're in the Gulf Coast states, you need to be wary of hurricanes. And if you're in Middle America, you might need to be cautious about tornadoes. There's something to watch for in every state and every season. So for buying land in Florida, flood zones, wetlands, and floodways are something that you need to be aware of. Whenever we sell lots in this state, that's always a question we get and information that we share on our properties. And of course, everyone knows that technically the entire state of Florida is in a flood zone because it's located below sea level. Obviously, there are areas that get more water than others, but in a lot of Florida, you're going to experience standing water after a heavy rainfall. So buying land that's in a designated flood zone isn't necessarily a terrible thing. So let's look at wetlands first. Wetlands are a marsh or swamp-like ecosystem where the soil is always covered by water. Have you ever heard the saying that God created the world, but the Dutch created the Netherlands? So the Netherlands is below sea level and almost all of it could be wetlands but the Dutch are constantly pumping water back into the ocean and off of the land. And this will be your life if you try to buy, if you try to build on wetlands in Florida. You will constantly be fighting back water and it will be very expensive to mitigate that water elsewhere. You also have to watch out for damaging existing wells by building on wetlands. You would have to get special permits from the county, and it's really just a lot of work. Um, unless you're head over heels in love with the property, I really don't recommend buying property that's designated as wetlands. You can check on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service website map with the address of the property to see if it's in a wetlands. Okay, so this is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service website. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the wetlands mapper. So let's click on that. And we're going to search by location for a property that we actually own and have sold already and it's in Charlotte County. Okay so the property is this section right here and you can see that it's not in a wetlands. The wetlands are these areas labeled these green shapes here. Okay so you can see forested shrub wetland. So this is a really useful tool that you can use um, just to make sure, double check, because sometimes the county won't tell you if it's in a wetlands, their database just may not be that extensive. So this is a really great free tool that you can use to make sure that you're not buying wetlands property. Now flood zones are a little different. Uh, flood zones are described by the 1% annual chance of flooding or a 1 in 100 year flood. And there are different zones as described by FEMA. Zone X has the lowest level for risk flooding, whereas properties in zone A, for example, are considered to have a high risk. You can easily check on the county GIS maps or the FEMA flood map. So let's open up the county map first. So this is the same property that we just looked up, uh, same address in the wetlands mapper. So you can see that Charlotte County will tell you it's in a flood zone 8AE. Um, and you might be looking at that, well, what, is, what does that mean? So you can come over to FEMA and you can look up that same address 
in their flood mapping service. But this is not the friendliest to read. You can see it's blurred out, but it says zone AE. That right there. And if you, we go to this tab, again on the FEMA website, we've looked up what a zone AE means. Well, again, it's an area subject to a 1% annual chance flood event. Um, so fairly low for zone AE, you should be okay. Really the biggest thing to watch for when you're purchasing property in regards to flood zones is can you still get insurance? Because if you're in flood zone A, for example, you're going to have a really difficult time trying to find an insurance company that will give you a good policy. So the final water related issue we're going to go over here today is regulatory floodways. And floodways describe the water course and the adjacent lands that must be preserved to help mitigate flood water and to keep the water from reaching a certain height. Well, what does that mean exactly? The bottom line is it is extremely difficult to get the approval to build or modify regulatory floodways and land is included in that umbrella. You would need special permits, engineering consultation, and more often than not, structures are not allowed to be placed in a floodway area. Plus the insurance would be incredibly expensive because if there is a sudden surge in flood water, um, it's going to be at the floodways first. So floodway land I would definitely avoid if at all possible. So to sum everything up, floodway, not your ideal case. I would definitely avoid this type of property. A wetland is a marsh or swamp-like environment, not impossible to build on, but you'll be doing it for the rest of your life, like the Dutch system in the Netherlands. And finally, flood zones, which are not a complete turnoff. You just need to be aware of which zone you're hoping to purchase land in and what that means for insurance policies. So these three issues are pretty important when you're buying land in Florida, and you can easily find all of this information by doing your own due diligence before you purchase a property. And again, when you purchase a property through my company, Compass Land, we do all of this due diligence for you, so you don't have to worry about it, and we're more than happy to share the information that we found with you as you're looking to purchase a property. So I hope you found this video helpful, um, that you feel more confident buying land in Florida and are a more well-advised land investor. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get some valuable content up here and make it worth your while. And if you have any questions about a specific land investing issue, just let me know and maybe I can make a video for you to help clear things up. Thank you for your time and have a great day.